Hey everyone, it's Camille here. In previous tutorials, we've covered a lot of cool text effects. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a hollow out text effect like the one in a simple, where the text appears in a cinematic intro style. This method is super easy, and if you're interested, follow along step by step. First, let's open VideoProc Flagger. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can download it for free by using the free download link in the description box. Click here to create a new text track. Type in the text we need. Choose a suitable font. Adjust the font size and remove the shadow. Next, adjust the text scaling, letter spacing, and more. Then click here to see the screenshot of the text. Now delete the text content and change the background to white. Save another screenshot. Import both screenshots into VideoProc Flagger. Place the text screenshots on the main track. In the Inspector panel, reduce the opacity to use it as a background. Then put the text layer on the overlay track. In the Inspector, select the fit to the screen by height, and then choose Lighten as the blending mode. Click Crop. To cut out the first text, be careful not to crop too much leaving some blank space around the text. Click Motion and add a keyframe at the starting position. Restore the display area at the 1.4 second position. Add another keyframe and change the speed to speed down number 1. Go back to the first keyframe. Move the display area upward until the text is no longer visible. Also, change the rotation angle to negative 180 degrees and add a zero at the end of this parameter. Let's play it back. The text rotation reviewer effect is now completed. Next, let's create a few more overlay tracks, then copy the text and paste it here a bit backwards on the new overlay track. Click crop again and adjust it to isolate only the next letter. Move it to the corresponding position. Then click motion like what we already did, add a keyframe, adjust the display area, and add another keyframe at the 1.4 second position. Changing the speed to speed down number 1. Then go back to the first keyframe and adjust the position, rotation, and other properties. I'll quickly repeat these steps for the remaining three letters, shifting each one slightly forward in time. Feel free to experiment with different rotation angles and settings to achieve unique effects. Once everything is done, delay the background track and hit play to preview the result. Looks good! The text intro effect is completed. Next, let's create another overlay track and place a white background image on it. In the inspector panel, again, we select Fit to the screen by height and choose Lighten as the blending mode. Then click Motion and choose this preset. Adjust the spacing between keyframes to make the transitions smoother and fix the overall timing of your animation. Once done, move the starting point of the white background to the correct position. Now, let's export this video. 
After exporting, import both the video you just made and the video you are creating the effect for back into Video Prog Flagger. Place the main video on the primary track. Put the exported video onto the overlay track. In the spectra panel, lower the opacity slightly and increase the contrast a little bit. Then select Fit to the screen by height. Scroll down to the Blender Mode section and choose Multiply. That's it. The effect is now completed. Let's play it back. Looks great! Alright, that's everything for this tutorial. If you want to learn more simple and interesting effects, feel free to check our homepage in the playlist. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!